In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Continuation, bro. That's right. Yamada smuggled us into the girls' only room. Who are you? Ooh, good question. In front of each call, you can't lie. Ignored. Just ignores her. Quiet, shy, introverted, short. What else? What 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 other qualities of each car is there? Chuni. <laughs> Five foot two. Cat like. He is kind of cat like. And she's a, like a dog. Oh. Oh. Really? Who's lying? Says the fourteen year old. Getting asked out is pretty childish. Yeah, boy, co sure. Yeah, and you'd know because you're an adult. It's been brewing for a while between Yamada and Itsukawa, huh? Hey! I wanna get asked out! Did you did you hear it? Come on! Come on, it's the last episode. Come on, ask her out. What's she saying? <gasps> they fucked before dating? <laughs> Adults treat it like it's some sort of recreational sport? What? Doesn't that imply that there's a competitive sport in fucking two then? <laughs> Uh -oh. Hello! Yo, where's that hand going? Boy! It's impossible not to think that right now, though. Yeah, bro, lost the prime number. 2, 3, 5, 10? 10? No, you're supposed to go to 11, bro! That's not for me to decide. Yes. Oh. What? No way. Remember, yeah. It's not about the kiss. It's about, remember, what are we doing here right now? Confront her about the audition and how it's okay for you to go. Don't, you don't need to be here. That's what we're supposed to be doing. I gotta take a shit. <laughs> Look. Wait, everyone's up? Everyone got him at the same time? Dude, what the fuck is that look for Yamada? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Kazaki clutch! Kazaki trying to creep! Let's go, Kazaki. The Barachi is also there. Oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, we want to talk about something. Can it wait? Really? I feel like the mood is right right now. He just blue balled her. Bro, how are you gonna tease her like that and just go? Alright, tomorrow it is. Come! 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 So it's cap? It's a lie? You just do. You just bring it up. That she can go to the audition instead. Yep. That's all you gotta say. Hello. Yamada. Ah. Panda. Phone. Sunlight. Carte? Too soon. Too soon. It's a lot of sunlight though. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Just. That's really convenient. Okay, let's just go alone to the right then. Let's talk. Oh. Man, she's wearing the mask and we don't even know how she's feeling, right? Because she's clearly like feeling bad about this because she wants to go to the audition, but the mask is hiding that face and mm, the con 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 is not just for fun. Confront her, bro. What? 
See? The true face. Oh. She's crying. This counts. This counts. Out of the 13 episodes of Dangers in My Heart, what's the cry count at? Is this 9 out of 13? It's 9 or 10 out of 13, I think, right? There's only like 2 or 3 episodes that she didn't cry. Every one of them. Damn. It's pretty crazy, man. Audition. If she didn't cancel the schedule just yet. Oh, oh my god. It's gonna be too real. Let's go to the audition. No, not even. She's just too nice, bro. She's just so innocent and pure. She thinks that her. Like sacrificing everything for each color and now feeling bad as being too selfish. She she is way too much of an angel. Let's make you cry too, man. Is he about to do something crazy? <gasps> oh, he put the mask on. What are the auditions? Oh. あった。かいは薄汚い何かでしかないと思い込んでいたから。no one gives a fuck. They're too busy being self-absorbed. They do not care about what you're doing. They're not even thinking about you. They're too busy worrying about what other people are thinking about you. <laughs> like, like, Adachi right there is just talking about dicks, bro. <laughs> like, the, Kanzaki Adachi, they're not making fun of each other. They're just talking about dicks and titties, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who Ota is. Is is this guy that has the last name Yamada as well? There was that guy in Yuga that guy showed up had Yamada last name last name. I don't know who Ota is. I'm sorry. I who the fuck is Ota? I know Kanzaki. I know Adachi. Who the fuck is Ota, bro? I like this guy. This new character, he's had only a couple lines, but he's sick. And I hope he's like important in season three. Moiko. Yeah. All thanks to you. You reached out. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, that felt kind of mean at the end. Hold up. I, it's all thanks to you. And I got here. I don't need you anymore. Go. Go to the audition. I'm strong. That's the whole point, right? The point is. I am strong. Now, I've been built up. You don't need to coddle after me. Go chase after your audition. That's the line that he's saying. <laughs> Sounds kind of mean, though. Carte! Early Carte! Is he going to be smiling? Is he crying? What is he doing? Hey, hey, hey! Is that a confession? Oh, the sunlight activated even more! I asked out? Bro, the tier animation is crazy. The budget? The budget just like increased tenfold. Holy shit. The tier animation is insane right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Ankat's coming. Hey, but we, we said I like her though. Now, what I'm kind of scared about is, like, this is not really a confession in the way of, like, I like you, will you go out with me or you'll be my girlfriend, right? The I like you part was said out loud, but, like, we already knew that. And I'm sure she kind of already knew that, right? Now, are they going to go beyond the I like you and actually make it look like they're dating or not? Like, I wonder what they're going to do. Kazaki Hara! Flash mob! We're sending her off to the train station. No. She's actually such a good boyfriend, if he was even a boyfriend right now. Like any other insecure guy, remember the mentality of like, I don't actually want her to do well. I hope that her career as an actress and idol doesn't do well, so that 
I don't feel scared and that she won't leave me. But you hear like his lines of like, I want to be the tiniest part of her life. The most selfless thing you could do to pursue, like to, to like help your partner pursue their own dreams and ambitions over your own sake. <laughs> he packed the snack. He was ready with the snacks too. Wow. <laughs> oh. 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 That's why it was heavy. Cause he already was. Well, I don't know how far he was planning. He wasn't planning this, right? He didn't even know that she had an audition until recently. So maybe this is by chance. But she did think of her and prepare the snacks. Not specifically for this moment, but it was executed nicely. I like you. Yeah, what about that part? I like you too. Yeah? I... Uh, God damn it! What? What is the bus? <laughs> She actually, actually went back and then went through the crosswalks because <laughs> she's a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> it's good, it's just... <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, the manga. Let's go, Bayashi! Yo, both Yamada's boyfriends are here! <laughs> But she didn't get to say the thing, you know? She wanted to say it out loud, which I can only imagine is I like you too or something. But by she comes in and just kind of, you know, helps her out. All right, maybe we can... It's only like halfway through the episode, right? It feels like the climax of the episode has already just been done. But we still do have like pretty much half an episode left. So let's see where this goes. Yamada! <laughs> you could have fucking hit me back with that. Like, damn. <laughs> and leave me hanging? I don't think Bayashi knows. <laughs> Cram school. Get into elite schools. とりあえずなんて言い訳するか。お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お
At school? Oh, the, where it all started! Oh, I was thinking outside of school. This is where it all started. We opened this. Is she gonna be eating snacks in there? Yep. <laughs> it's funny. Because this is supposed to be like the super climax, emotional moment, you know? Of like a love story. And she's all dressed up, but at the same time, in classic Yamada fashion. She's got one, two, three, four, five potato chips she's about to shove down her face. It's just, just like staying core to its roots, you know, of who Yamada is. And there's Sunlight Kun. Illicit snacking. How to go? Okay. No, no, she went there. She did her best. I'm sure the results will be good later. No. You're not weak. But. Okay. I. She wants to say it, right? She saved it. Ooh, full name. Oh, what? You made me realize who I am? Holy shit. Like, dude, full name into you helped me figure out my identity. That's crazy. Again. Yamada Anna. This is what she wanted to say before. Even more than snacks. We? We? <laughs> fell in love! Wow. Man, I love how... I love how the wind just like was... The curtain was just fucking waiting perfectly in that time, man. The fucking... It's like, are you ready with the fans? She about to say it. Enhance the light. Enhance the fan strength! Boom! Dramatic curtains! And she's wearing the, you know, the bracelet? Go out with me! I like it when I want to be asked out. I want to be asked out. And she ends up asking her out. And you know what? You know what? This is very believable. You know why? Because my girlfriend also asked me out. <laughs> sometimes, guys, sometimes you get bailed out. You don't have to do anything. And sometimes the girl just so down bad, they just ask you out. Aww. We got a confession, man. Yes. Yes. In true fashion, man. Yamada on top. Ichikawa bottom, bro. Lucky motherfucker. <gasps> Whoa! I mean... What, a confession and a kiss to seal season two? Holy shit, I thought that, like, the kiss would come way later? And it hasn't happened yet, you never know. Someone could open the door and break this apart. But this is crazy. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> what the? That's fucked up. They're milking this shit like I'm milking ReZero. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it, it's like a kiss should have happened. But it makes sense that like, you know, two kids that are just getting into this, they're, you know, they're just awkward as fuck. And, you know, it's, it's like, it's so good. They gave it to us without giving it to us. You know what I mean? And like, if you think about content sake, it's in their best interest too now have the relationship going and they're going out and then they're gonna think oh when's the appropriate time to kiss you know and stuff like that i i, I think totally that's that's like season three content and beyond right hey that counts right i mean it's a cheek i'll still take it though it's, it's not the real it is a real thing it is a real thing it's just you know it's not quite there, but I'll take it. Yippee! <laughs> it's called my man. How you feeling? This is real. Imagine he wakes up into a dream. Oh, it's not over yet. More sunlight. It's not over yet. How we fell in love. There it is. Hello? Hey, they invaded me! I, I was expecting this to be the finale! 
These motherfuckers got me good. They got me. They got me. They had the flash mob being introduced and some sort of some sort of fucking festival and event and they're gonna dance and it and whatever. Whatever. I don't even care because the ending was that good. And ladies and gentlemen, that is dangerous in my heart. And oh, wow. I think that like this rom-com is not overhyped. This is the real deal. This truly has been one of the rom-coms of all time. <laughs> truly, right? This is irrefutable, right? It's definitely one of the rom-coms of all time. But memes aside, after watching season one, I, I thought that I have to give it a little bit more time, but I could see greatness. I'm like, yo, this is actually like a real depiction of what romance could be for middle school kids and not just some shameless fan service show where a popular girl just bails out the loser and it's just you can self-insert yourself into that no i keep going back to this theme of how yamada is actually a real person and she has her own insecurities and problems and we get to see all of that she's not this static perfect character that's supposed to be there to bail you out the fucking loser that got marketed towards this product right this shit was actually a genuinely good romance story. I don't think this is even minimum 8 out of 10. I think for the first time, I can actually say this is minimum 9 out of 10. I think that somewhere, it's 9 point something. Maybe it's high 8, I'm not sure. But like, season 1, season 2, season 2 especially, every episode delivered. There was no mid-episode. There was no stalling. There was no setup. And that's the beauty of rom-com slice of life, where some shonen battle shows or isekai shows some episodes really do lag along because you need to do the foundation and setup, right? But for whatever reason in Slice of Life and Rom-Com, because it doesn't follow that formula, once you have the characters established, every episode can just pop off on itself without having to do anything epic. And this season two was fucking amazing. Did we get a kiss? Not really. Did we get a confession? Yes. And my God, this is actually so good. I'm glad that I watched it. In season 3, I don't know when it's gonna come because obviously there's not in the source material left, but like, Dangers in My Heart, I think, can safely go into that greatness tier of rom-coms like Kaguya-sama that I always talk about. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.